And lastly, Ambassador Ginsburg, uh, we would be remiss if we didn't ask you about the Israeli-Palestinian stalemate. So much has happened just in the last few weeks. We have a, a, an ostensible unity government, Hamas Fatah, which isn't really working out too well so far. Uh, we have uh, a potential unilateral declaration of independence uh, in the fall at the general, UN General Assembly. What's your take on the situation and how the United States has handled its uh, brokering role? Well, the United States, I think, from what I'm reading, is going to have, have another summit here in Washington in late July uh, between Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu and, and uh, Palestinian leader uh, Abbas. The question ultimately is, is that it's not that the Obama administration doesn't genuinely want an agreement. It's not that they haven't tried. The problem is, is that there's an evaporation of constituencies for peace in both uh, Palestine and in Israel. There's more and more willingness to resort to civil disobedience among Palestinians. They see how it's worked in Tahrir Square. Uh, and Israelis are looking around them are saying, who are we negotiating with? This is a guy who won't even uh, utter the words, we accept a Jewish state. And he's running to the United Nations to get a resolution passed, which will have absolutely no tangible impact on the Palestinian people other than create undue expectations. Uh, I think that for someone who's been involved in this issue for 40 years of my life, getting the Israeli people uh, and the Palestinian people to understand that they have more to lose by a stalemate and more to gain by making concessions requires some real strong efforts on the part of the United States to talk directly to those people. I'd like to see the president travel to Jerusalem and speak to the Israeli people directly about the importance of peace. And I'd like him to do the same with the Palestinian people. It's time to talk a little bit past the leaderships of both countries. Well, Ambassador Ginsburg, Thank you so much for coming in and sharing your thoughts about Morocco and so many other countries in the region. We greatly appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Thanks for it. It's great to be here. I appreciate it.